Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Robin and you're at the Anywhere Homestead. So today I thought I would do um, something different that I've never tried with peaches. My peach tree is producing fruit and they are gorgeous this year. There's not a ton of them, but there's way more than what I need and they're huge. They're as big as softballs, so they're beautiful. So I need to do something. So I'm going to try peach salsa. Um, I watched Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead do this and it looked delicious and it's something I've never tried so I thought might as well try something new and um, sweet and spicy that's excellent and you can also put it on like meats you know pork or something if you're cooking pork but anyway um, it's a USDA recipe but I will tell you the ingredients first of all we need 12 cups of chopped peaches so let's get the peaches chopped and then we'll go from there small wonder if I'm chop in this little gizmo. Hmm. Well I'll give it a try. Oh wow, that's really nice. That's perfect. Okay, I've got the 12 cups of peaches all diced up. Now we're gonna do a cup of onions. And I chose red onions just to give it a little color. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. These are out of my garden. They're pathetic. I don't know, my onions in the past have been I mean, I can grow onions the size of baseballs and softballs. And this year, they're more like the size of tennis balls and golf balls. So, I don't know. This year's kind of been goofy for gardens, but a cup of onions, so let's get that done. Sorry, that was probably pretty hard. Get those in there. Now, we're going to do three and a half cups of peppers. So, I'm gonna do a mixture of peppers. This calls for green peppers. However, I want mine spicy. So I'm gonna do some jalapeno peppers, some red peppers, green peppers, maybe some banana peppers, but I need to go out and get those out of my garden first, so. I will be back. Okay, I cheated a little. I had some peppers cut up from my garden in the freezer. So I used three cups of those and I got the jalapenos out of my garden. I always remember to wear gloves when working with jalapenos. I'm just gonna chop those up. I took the seeds out of half of them probably because although I like it spicy, my family's not really huge. I mean, they like a little bit of heat, but not a lot. So anyway, go ahead and put that in there. And then to that, we're going to add red pepper flakes. Oh, a teaspoon. So there's a little more heat as well. And five cloves of garlic. I've used all my garlic out of the garden, so I'm just gonna Two cups of brown sugar. And 
and two and a half cups of vinegar. Always make sure you use bought vinegar where you know it's 5% acidity. Your homemade vinegar is gonna vary. And you need 5% acidity to can safely. Oh, two and a half cups. Okay, that goes in there, and a cup of water. Okay, my bottles are in the dishwasher, getting sterilized, and I'm gonna get this on the stove and bring it just to a boil and then can it up and it uh, water baths for 15 minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, I thought I'd show you how pretty this was. Just get ready to boil it. And once it's come up to a boil, I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, we got it boiling. Now let's jar it up. Turn it down. Ouch. That was special. <laughs> Gonna leave a one inch head space. off good so there's no sugar or anything on there that will prevent it from sealing put your lids on you don't have to boil your lids anymore which was a little shocking to me when I found that out but hey whatever and finger tight I'll finish filling these up and 15 minutes in the water bath counter and I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, they're done. Super quick. I love this small canning kettle my sister-in-law gave me. Thanks so much, Mary Lynn. I didn't even know something like this existed, but it is the bomb. It does these so fast. You don't have to wait for the huge canning kettle to heat up. Beautiful. I'm super excited to have these on the shelf and to use them this winter. Let's do this one. Here. And to do something different with my peaches. How do you guys use your peaches? Please comment down below and let me know. I'd love to hear. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. That would be awesome. That's what helps the channel grow more. I would appreciate any help you could give me. And now, I had two jars of the juice left over. And I certainly don't want to waste that. And then one more jar of salsa. 
And I've got a little teeny one that I'm going to put in the fridge. And I'm going to enjoy that tonight and this week. I'm going to cool this water down a little bit so that my jars don't break. These are still fairly hot, but I'll need some more in there anyway. So, hope this is something you're interested in. And I hope you have a the rest of a great day and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks y'all. Oh, gotta add more water. See you later.